Tenian versus Matt Stoney. Both have a big stomach. One is a competitive eater, and the other, just hungry. Since I consider Matt and Tenian in the same category, mukbang, I'm going to be breaking down who and why one of these two would win in an eating competition. Now, I'm not saying who would win by eating the fastest. No. I'm thinking more along the lines of who would get kicked out of the Chinese buffet first because they were eating way too much food. We're talking quantity, not speed. I know. I know. Matt Stoney is a professional competitive eater, and his goal is to eat as much food as he can, to be the king of food. And Tenian is just a humble Japanese man that looks like he works at a ramen shop during the night, working his butt off to be the greatest itamai in his humble little town, and doesn't partake in competitive eating. Now let's break down their channels. Tenian, instead of buying his meals, he makes it from scratch. Made out of love, if you will. He also talks to his audience and enjoys his meal. A real Japanese chef. Matt Stoney, otherwise known as the Megatoad, sometimes makes his meals. Maybe not by scratch, but he does his best. He can say he enjoys his food in his own way. And he also enjoys a little conversation with his audience. Damn right. I just, I just drew it all over myself. A real American chef. I didn't think anyone could beat Matt Stoney. I've been subscribed to this guy for three years. Never would have thought that anyone could eat as much as he can until I saw Tanian. Now this lad can eat. In my personal opinion, Tanian would win in the eating competition. Sorry, Megatoad. Still love you, though. Here's the reason why. There's a scientific study that shows eating faster makes you eat more. I know, I know, I know, I know. Hear me out. Matt Stoney can eat 1,620 french fries in under 22 minutes and 52 seconds. But look how he looks afterwards. This guy is about to burst. He looks like he could easily throw up, and he's forcing those burps out way too hard. <sighs> And I know what some of you guys are thinking. Well, he drinks a lot of juice and water along with his meal. Liquids are very filling. And I know. I hear ya. And another factor is, he doesn't chew. Tanian chugs a beer before he starts eating his meal. <laughs> And not only that, but after he's chugged his beer, he goes in for a whole mouthful of his food that he cooked. Then, what does he do? He grabs another beer, and he chugs that one as well. In total, he probably drinks around four, maybe five cans of beer? I don't know. I don't really sit down and count them. He doesn't really keep the cans on the table, although I think he should, just so we could keep track and probably judge him. I don't know. Just a thought, just a suggestion. So going back to the scientific study, if you were to eat faster, you could fit a lot more food in your stomach. But once your stomach is filled to the brim with food, your body is like, stop, no, I can't, please. And that's what happens to Matt Stoney, in my opinion, I think, I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Well, Tenian, he takes his time. He eats probably, if not the same, then probably double of what Matt Stoney could eat. And at the end of the video, he seems completely fine. Like if he could eat more, how much can that lad really eat? You know, that's what I really wonder. Do they, do they not eat all day? That's my real question. Do they not eat all day so they can fit all that food or do they eat food throughout the whole day? I don't know, but it's just a random thought that popped in my head. What do you guys think? This, this video did start off with facts though. I, I promise you that I, I spent all day today writing down facts, watching Matt Stoney videos and, and Tanyan videos, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll do another video like this. Have a good day. Do it. Be the best person you could be. Yeah, that's a good outro. I'll start using that.